Hi guys, Barnaby here once again for Spurred On. It's the day before the first game of the season. We're away at Old Trafford, so I've got Adam McCola from Full Time Devils on Skype with me. Adam, how are you? I'm, I'm, I'm very good, thank you. Just seen the Champions League draw. That's um, right, FC Bruges, right? Club Bruges, Club Bruges. Club Bruges, we got a decent little trip to Belgium, so looking forward to that, but fired up for tomorrow. I cannot wait. Just about 24 hours to go. Ah! That, that's right. It's like now Christmas to... Eve. It is like Christmas Eve, it's very exciting. Now to us, obviously, an away trip to Old Trafford on the first day is a terrible draw, but I'm imagining for you, you probably think that Spurs at home isn't a bad little opener for you. Well, I have two theories. One of them is it's good to get a tricky team because a team will be on their toes. We, we went into the game against Swansea last season, our opening game, high after a very good pre-season, I mean, then we lost, and we just lost all our momentum. Um, so I'm hoping that Facing Tottenham means that the players are up for it a little bit more. They're wary of the threat that they can pose to us. And hopefully that means we get get off to a good start and get three points. But I am I'm a little bit wary about Spurs. Yeah, I, I have to say, I, I see this a little bit as a bit of a bonus game for us. Because we played so badly at Old Trafford last year when Fellaini <laughs> had his best game ever in a Man United shirt. And we lost 3-0 and Rooney did this goal celebration getting knocked out. That we can't possibly play as badly as we did last year tomorrow. So I kind of think it's like, you know, I don't think we'll win, but maybe we can go there and have a real go. Start as you mean to go on then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think Spurs can do something. Obviously, with famously, both teams start off really slow. Um, well, at least... We've done, think... all, we've done all right over the last five years. We've won, we've won our last couple of years' uh, opening games, I think. Yeah, we normally win our opening games, but then we normally like drop a few, draw a few games here and there, and it, it takes a while for us to get going. So I'm hoping Louis van Gaal has literally had the preparation, every little inch of it, the way he wants it. So if we don't get off to a good start, yeah, it's only him to blame. To no excuses this year. Okay, and so what I was going to say, you know, obviously we're a Spurs, uh, Spurs channel, so uh, you know, give us an idea of some of our players uh, that you would worry about tomorrow. I'm a huge fan of Christian Eriksen. Um, mm -hmm. I have been since his time at Ajax. And I remember Manchester United were looking for a central midfield player. And I was kept thinking, Eriksen's there. Why has no one gone in for him? Why haven't we made a bid for him? I remember he came to Old Trafford under Ajax and he played us off the park. He was fantastic. So Christian Eriksen, if we give him the time and the space on the ball, then he can make you guys tick. Harry Kane as well. If you if you saw the game against Paris Saint-Germain, now obviously we've got no David De Gea in goal. I know Harry Kane didn't um, have his have his best games against United last season. He scored against all the big teams apart from us, I think. Okay. Um, so if we give Harry Kane the kind of space that we afforded to Ibrahimovic in our final preseason game, he will score. Um, so Ericsson and Harry Kane are the two that I'm watching. But All right, good man. And you just said about De Gea. Now, as far as I was aware, that's only rumours. Is he definitely not going to play? It's not rumours. Louis van Gaal said he won't play. Um, wow. Whether that's because we're pulling him out of the spotlight, rumours in Spain at the moment are that it's not happening. He's not going to go to Real Madrid. So unless we pull him out of the spotlight just to, you know, till the window closes, or unless it is actually about to happen, then... I don't know. I just want it to all be over. And just we, that. we don't we don't want that to happen because I think you're going to come for our French number one. Otherwise, that would be a bit of a we, bad one. That's my first choice, Hugo Lloris. I think he's a superb goalkeeper. Um, I think he's the only goal... Well, he's not the only goalkeeper in the Premier League. Obviously, looking at Courtois, he's fantastic yeah. as well. But Lloris is my first choice um, replacement for um, David De Gea. Daniel Levy would be rubbing his hands together, though, if we came. Is it true about the... We, he's got a release clause. That's pretty... No, I don't think so. There's no way Daniel Levy puts release clauses in those contracts. There's no way. What he does sometimes do is give kind of verbal agreements that if you play one more season, you can go the next time. But then, even then, he tends to go back on them. So uh, Yeah, Man United come knocking. He's going to say... What verbal I agreement? <laughs> Adam, Adam, I genuinely think if United were to get Lloris, it would have to be somewhere around £40 million. And that's ridiculous for a goalkeeper. It's completely it, ridiculous. I'd pay it. 30, oh, 40 you... million. Just pay it because yeah. he is a, he is a go uh, Apparently, he wants to come to Manchester United. Yeah. The media, so. the media in France are always linking him to Manchester United. They want him to come to Manchester United. So, if we just go there, pay the money, whatever Daniel Levy wants, just give him it, keep him quiet and get him because he's, he's fantastic. We can't go into the season. If we lose Dave with Sergio Romero and a Lindergaard, they're not yeah. good enough for a team yeah. like Manchester United. Mm. 
Okay, so um, just before we go, I guess we better get a, a, a prediction on the game tomorrow. Just give us an overall idea of how you think it'll go and then tell us what you think the score will be. Um, I think it'll be a tight game. I think United will edge it 2-1, um, but we will concede. I think our defence is looking suspect at the moment. We need to settle that down, get ro roll hold fit. and hopefully... Are you playing? Are you going to be playing Daily Blint at centre-half? Daily Blint and Chris Smalling, by the looks of things. Uh, oh, you hope that, I hope that Harry Kane's going to pull off onto Daily Blind for some uh, crosses to come in. We've got, the thing with Daily Blind is as well, he attacks the ball. Mm. Rather than stand and like hold his position, mark his player and attack the ball when it comes to him. He runs out to it. So, is is like... Ugh. I can just see him running out of position and creating a bag of space for Harry Kane, Christian Eriksen to find him. And it's a goal. I'm so worried about this game. All right. Well, that's good news. That's enough for me, Adam. Adam, thank you so much for uh, coming and appearing on Spurred on no TV. Problem. Don't thank forget you for having if, me. If you're here and you uh, are a Man United fan for some reason, then don't forget to go over to Full Time Devils, a great channel with loads of cool stuff going on. Uh, guys, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs, at Old Trafford tomorrow. Come on. Come on, United. <laughs> with warming goal then we're going to go Kieran Trippier, Alderweireld, Vertonghen and Rose that's the back four then we've got Ben Taleb and I'm going to go for Ali I, 